Six plus nine equals 420, boys. <laughs> We got some good math out here. What's up, my dudes? All right. We're continuing the whole conversation about the Jet Lawrence letting Roxon by. I just have to talk about this a little bit more, okay? So, somebody left a comment on my last video bringing up an interesting point about it that I don't think I really explained as much in my video before as I should have, and I think a lot of people are thinking down this sort of a road, so I thought it was worthy of coming in here and taking a look at and responding to this particular comment. You know, leave comments on my videos, because if you happen to leave a good enough of a comment, it might actually be featured in a future video, okay? I've done this many times before, all right? So, and this is coming from a Jason Swartz 9481, all right? He says, I'm going to disagree on this one. Jet's not afraid to get past. He's fought off Sexton's charges in the past. Kenny was pushing hard at the end of the race on a gnarly track. Jet wasn't comfortable pushing that pace. It was an inevitable pass. I think it was a pretty smart move. Would I have done it? Nope. But I think it was a team decision. Okay. So this sounds a lot like some let's defend Jet even though he never even said anything like this in the podium interview or anything, which is kind of weird, but it's like, anyways, I know there's a lot of Jet fans that are sort of using this as a tactic to, you know, deflect all of the negativity that's going towards Jet right now. So I said, in reply to Jason Swartz, you're missing the entire point. It's the fact that he waved him by. Big difference between just slowing down or pulling over like, well, I don't want to push the limit this race, but it's the fact that he just had to wave him by and try to make it obvious. Just take your loss, bro. If you're going to purposefully lose a race for whatever reason, you just have to take that L. Don't try to come up with excuses on the podium and wave the guy by. This is sort of an unwritten rule kind of thing, okay? That's what I replied to that original comment. And I just wanted to make that really clear in this video. I don't have any problem with if, you know, if somebody's getting arm pump at the end of the race or, you know, you don't want to push the limits for whatever reason or whatever, that's all good. That's all cool, but... You got to take that loss. You can't like have your cake and eat it too. You can't have it both ways is what I'm trying to get at here. And that's exactly what Jet was trying to do. That is the point. And what I'm trying to say right here is the fact that Jet didn't want to, didn't want it to be any sort of skill issue is the reason why he lost the race, right? He, he wanted to make sure that Everybody, that's why he waved the arm by, you know, Jet, let's say he was just didn't want to push the limit or didn't see any reason in beating Ken Roxon or whatever, like, that's okay and all if you want to do that, you know, I'm sure there's been plenty of times before that a Tomac or a whoever has, you know, for, for point's sake, they, they've had somebody really fast right behind them towards the end of a race, and they thought, what's really the point? I'm not going to sit here and battle this guy. I'm just going to sort of slow down and bas basically let him go by, you know, stop fighting as hard as you could and, and try to build up points, kind of like a strategic racing long-term strategic racing sort of game plan, okay? And then with this particular case with Jet Lawrence letting Ken Roxon go by him, it, it's all a disrespect kind of thing. <laughs> That's what makes it different, you know? Had Jet just pulled over to the side and he didn't wave Roxon by, you know, and then he got on the podium and he was like, well... I just didn't have it this race, bro, you know, or I just didn't want to push that sort of limit, you know, Roxon was on one, I just didn't want to push it that hard, that's why I didn't do that. That would have been an entirely different story, okay? So, Roxon won this race fair and square straight up, 
There ain't no other way to say it. There ain't no other way to... It just is what it is. But I'm still okay with Jet pulling over and, you know, basically not wanting to push a certain limit. I never had a problem with that. But in my previous video, I remember saying... You know, letting somebody pass you goes against everything that motocross is all about. You don't ever let somebody pass you, which is true, but there's a big difference between, you know, what Jet Lawrence did where he's pulling over and then waving somebody by and making it obvious there's a big difference in that right there and just somebody not wanting to push the limits in a race so then they purposely slow down to basically let a guy win those are two completely different animals okay in in the case of jet lawrence you know if he's trying to think of it strategically that's cool but then you don't you can't make it super obvious that you're just letting somebody go by because then you're kind of making it where it's like well now nobody's gonna know whether or not i was trying or not or if Roxon really won the race or not, you know, that that's what I mean by it goes against everything that motocross is all about. I'm not saying you can't, like, start easing off the gas or be strategical and basically let a guy beat you if it's not really going to benefit you much to beat that guy. That's like a whole different argument. That's what I'm saying with this Jason Schwartz dude's comment right here. He's like, He's like kind of twisting it all around, you know, he's making a whole different argument out of what I'm even saying to begin with. I can say that you should never let somebody pass you, that's against everything that motocross is all about, but also you can be strategic and, you know, slow down or not want to push a certain limit if you don't necessarily have to, that's also true too, but that's, you got to understand, that's not what Jet Lawrence did. He didn't just slow down and not push the limit and then kind of, you know, pull over to the side a little bit and and then get up on the podium and not make excuses. You know, that's not what he did and that's what we're talking about, right? So you're making these assumptions of what Jet Lawrence did or what he was thinking, but that's not what he said on the podium, and that's not what he did. You know, he pulled way over and waved the dude by and made it super obvious. At the end of the day, you can assume and presume and think all these things that you think Jet Lawrence was trying to do or he wasn't trying to do, but at the end of the day, he got beat and he couldn't take the loss. You know, if you pull over or you let a guy by or you don't want to push the limits or you're taking a second place and you're still getting the overall, whatever the case may be, you can't like do that and then try to act like, you know, you purposefully let the guy win. You just can't, those two things can't go together is what I'm trying to say. You know, it's like if you do that, if you make that that conscious decision to pull over or you're basically letting the guy win in your own mind, you can't like try to defend yourself publicly by trying to say, well, I just let the guy win because then you're taking away all of the, yeah, but what about maybe you couldn't have actually won that race? How about that one, Jet? You know what I'm saying? Now we'll just never know because you had to make it obvious that you were waving the guy by and saying all that stupid shit on the podium. He was on you. It was shaping up to be an amazing second moto. I mean, <laughs> Jet just basically ruined what would have been an awesome battle. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I'm looking at it. Jet's like just basically ruined what would have been a really cool you know, super motocross race. I think the super motocross needs some excitement. We need some 450 end of the race kind of battles here. We don't need Jet Lawrence, Mr. Perfect Boy, pulling over and waving people by and then making all these excuses. It's like, you know, we can have Jet pulling over and then getting up on the podium and saying, well, I just didn't want to push the limit. You know, Roxon was on another level. I didn't really have a point to push the limit. You see what I'm saying? Had had Jet said something like that on the podium, you know, it's basically admitting that you lost because you didn't want to push that kind of limit. Had he said that, or him saying, you know, on the podium, like, he tried to say it was a baby gift, and then he tried to say it was somehow going to help 
help like him in the points because it was going to hurt Sexton. He was saying all this other weird shit. I mean, he was grabbing for any possible thing that he could last second. You see what I'm saying? That's what it was. To try not to admit that he just lost the race. Okay? And that's the unwritten rule in pro motocross and supercross that I'm talking about. You know? If you're going to let a guy win, you got to take the loss. 